Hey, what is going on, guys? We are back. Sorry, I had to take a quick phone call, so I needed to stop the recording. But anyways, we're going to get back into this. So what we want to do now is we want to create something that's going to bring us into the whole project and something that's going to take us out of it. So we're going to do this this little video you guys are going to be watching is going to be creating the intro and working with masks and uh, just normal solids, uh, solid layers. So we will get started with that. So what we want to do actually is... First off, when we first come into this, we want to make sure that we're looking directly at the logo. So we're gonna bring in the logo. And we're gonna we're gonna scale it up a bit so that it's it's kind of in your face. And I I always hit keys that I'm not supposed to hit. I just hit enter and it'll bring you into its specific layer panel. So this is what we're gonna come into when when our little animation happens. It's gonna be like bam, right there, and then it's gonna fly at us. Okay, so. What we're gonna do, we are gonna throw all of these into a pre-composition. So Command Shift C will actually create a new pre-composition. So we're gonna name this BG because that's for the background. And what it did is it moved all of the properties into the other file. Uh, there is another form of new composition right here where we can. Oh wait, never mind. We left all the attributes here. But then again, we didn't have any so it didn't really matter but you can actually move them all into the new composition or you can leave them outside so like if you had a position uh, change I could move just this logo and it'll still move here and then I can do other things to it over here and then it'll do those things while it's moving um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do that so we don't actually even need to touch the background we're just gonna kinda leave it for now and what we're gonna start off with is a new solid we're gonna add a new solid and we're gonna create basically like a swiping transition and then we're gonna use this element to basically display text and that sort of stuff so we're gonna start off with a black black solid and what we want to do is we want to animate a mask so animating a mask can be kinda of difficult at times if you don't know what you're doing um, basically we need to cover the whole thing like so Oop. why am I not using my pen tool anymore I don't really enjoy using the pen tool in After Effects but it is what it is guys I mean there's really nothing else we can do about it um, so we have our basic mask and now what we want to do is we want to animate it swooping from the left so it's going to be coming across and in order to do this we need to set up position keyframe so we're going to hit P or no I'm sorry I am telling you guys the wrong thing and I'm sorry we're going to actually hit M and we'll bring up your mask now there's a lot of different options for masks in general. Uh, you have the mask path, which we just made. We just made our shape with the actual pen tool. Uh, we also have uh, feathering, so we can soften it up. As you can see, we can soften it up a bit, but we don't want to do that as well. Uh, you can change its opacity, so now I can actually see through it a little bit. Or we can do mask expansion, so it'll actually expand out or we can contract it in from where we are however many pixels you decide. But what we're gonna do is the mask path. So we're gonna set a keyframe and then we're gonna move ahead about a second. We're gonna go to about a second, which will be 30 frames technically. And we're gonna hit another keyframe. Uh, over here on the left hand side, you'll see that the this little diamond, you can add a keyframe right there. So we're gonna add our keyframe and this is gonna be our end position. So when we're all done with this we want to make sure that this is completely off the screen okay and now you can already see right here that it's already doing the animation but now in order to get the other side we want to just select these two and because we're already moving we're moving straight over and we're not doing any weird motion or anything we're gonna select both of these go to the beginning point and now we can move them all the way over till it covers up the screen. 
And then I'll actually adjust this single piece right there. And actually, now that I think about it, we're gonna, we're gonna redo our final keyframe because what it's also doing is it's now, it's taking this mask, which is this big, and it's animating it to this big, as well as taking it from here and pushing it over there. So it's actually going really fast as opposed to the nice gradual motion that we want. So we're gonna delete our final keyframe, and now we'll go over to a second, about a second, doesn't really matter where we are. Double click on, the, on one of the anchor points and it'll select the whole thing. And now we're gonna drag it over. So now it'll move at a, a bit of a better rate. So there we have it. So that'll actually reveal and it'll bring us into this actual project file. Um, now something else that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna duplicate this, Command D. And this bottom one, we're going to actually offset it by a single frame. I think, I think that was a single frame. Let me, let me just double check. So we can actually move in here. We need it to just offset by a single frame. And we're gonna change its color. So we'll, you'll notice the change right here when we actually change the solid settings. But we're gonna actually change its color and we want it to be like a medium gray. Okay, we want it to be like a medium gray. Like so. And then I think that we're also gonna wanna do you know, we're gonna actually, we're gonna add an effect to that medium gray. We're gonna go effect, generate, ramp. Now a ramp is actually a gradient, it's just how they word it, and it's, it's kinda dumb. I don't, really, I don't like how they word it. And we're gonna change the top color to be white. So we're gonna select that little box, change it to white, and then we're gonna take the bottom one and we're gonna go to like a like an off white, a very very light gray. Now it's not as noticeable, but there is a gradient there, so it just kind of uh, it creates a a bit of a change. Um, and then we're actually mm, now we'll we'll leave that black. Uh, I like that actually being black. Um, and then something that we can actually do that'll kind of emulate the logo that's kind of what that's kind of what I'm trying to go for is we're going to do effect generate I think it's stroke no we're not we're not actually gonna do we're not gonna do that one we are gonna actually select the layer 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 styles and now we're gonna add a stroke so now we can actually go in here and add our stroke we will select the blue that we have on the squid grips logo which is right there. And then let's just increase its size. Wow, that's going really slow. We'll just go to five for now. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, let's go to 10. So now we actually have a bit of a difference. 15? Ah, see, that's, that's the one thing that I don't like that it does, is it doesn't actually fill properly how I would like it to. Um, but that little tiny hiccup, it's not gonna be noticeable. If anything, we can actually just do this. We can go in here and we'll scale this up by 2%. And now, now we'll actually create a bit of a variance um, between the two strokes going across. So we're gonna reveal our logo and that's that's our little logo reveal. So basically, what we're what we just went over is how to actually animate a mask. What animating a mask will actually do, a little bit about what it'll do, and on top of that, um, bringing us into a scene because you don't always want it to just pop on. Uh, it's some some instances that works, um, and others not so much. I think for this, it'll be a really nice little introduction it's one second long takes up no time at all uh, here we'll actually we'll do a RAM preview of it let's bring this bring this up to size do a quick RAM preview of it um, and then in the next tutorial we'll teach you how to actually close this all out after we animate our logo on so it's just a swoop across boom and then it's gonna zoom into your face 
that's all it's going to do. That's literally all it's going to do. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully you guys are learning a bit, and this is actually helping you with After Effects, learning different things. Um, anyways, I will talk to you guys later.